This is a short tutorial on how to embed a watermark with uh, iPhoto 11. Um, this time uh, it's really simple. I'm going to be using a software called iBorderFX, which is a shareware. Um, a very useful program. I really like it. And uh, I thought I just wanted to share with, uh, with everybody. Um, about this program. If, if you're interested, you can always Google it and uh, just donate to the site. It's a, a really nice program, well done and uh, really interesting. And other than um, some watermarks, it does borders and you can add text and different things. But my ma main interest was uh, on how to watermark with iPhoto. So um, here I have my edited uh, photograph and uh, now I'm ready to export it. So the way to do it is uh, you just export uh, with the plugin uh, once it's downloaded into iPhoto. So um, all you need to do is the shift command E and you get the export uh, window here. Um, and on the export window uh, the plugin is already installed. Here it is, border effects. And uh, this is how it looks. So um, before I do the watermark, I just want to show the, the other things that you can do. Um, as you can see, you can add different types of borders. Uh, you can play with that. Uh, you can scale the um, photograph. In this case, it has a gray border. So I don't want to, in this case, to do it. I just want to add my watermark. So I'm just going to scale it up. So I like the, the, the shape to here and uh, right there. Okay, and that's pretty much all I want to do right now with this. Um, but as you can see, you can explore the other uh, options, uh, different types of text, uh, different um, borders. Uh, you can add text boxes. Uh, really, really interesting. My main interest, as I said, is the watermark. So here it is. So all you do is just uh, click on watermark and then click on show watermark. I already um, did my watermark. I did a Photoshop, many different ways of, uh, of doing it. Photoshop is probably the easiest way. Uh, just uh, do a transparent background, uh, type in your text, save it as a PSD, and then um, all you need to do, so in this case, is just click and show watermark. But basically, if uh, once you've done it and you don't have it, all you need to do is just click and choose image and uh, find the folder where you have your watermark. In this case, I have it right here, watermark PSD, and uh, just click open, and uh, that's it. So the watermark is right here. And then with this, you can play with the opacity. As you can see, uh, I like it right here, like around 70% or so. Uh, you can scale it. Um, so when I did my uh, Photoshop image, it was just quite small because that's how I like it. So I just kept it at that size, but you can pretty much do any size you want in Photoshop and do it however you want. As long as you have a transparent background, you can embed any type of of image, uh, text, or whatever as a watermark. It doesn't really matter. And the location, just click here. I like it at the bottom left in this case, but you can check uh, anything. It's just uh, you want to see it up here, top left. Uh, and if it's out of the, uh, the frame here, you can always offset it um, to the right or up and down. It just moves and just so maybe I can just leave it up there. Um, so there you have it. So I'm just gonna leave it at well, uh, I'm just gonna leave it at the bottom left. That's the way I had it initially. So that's it. Uh, there's a watermark. All you need to do is just go ahead and click export, and then you can probably just. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, or I'm just going to rename it so I know what it is. Uh, 
Grayskull Cunningham Falls. So just save it. Hit OK. And then the current options for exporting with iPhoto. Just you know, put it on my folder. And there you have it. That's it. And uh, all you need to do if you just want to check is just close my photo and uh, let's take a look here I have a copy and here's my picture and here's my watermark and preview which looks pretty neat I like it that's it thanks for watching